Hello and welcome to Automotive Solutions. Today's problem vehicle is a Vauxhall Corsa with an air conditioning leak, uh, previously been regassed by a uh, fast fit centre twice, both times it's leaked out within a few days. So a uh, customer wants me to check it out, find out where it's leaking from and um, repair it. So just show you what I've set up to try and find the leak. As you can see, I've got a set of gauges connected to the service ports. Uh, I'm using oxygen free, nitro oxygen free nitrogen to pressurize the system through my gauge set um, to approximately about seven bars. Um, most common area, particularly on courses, is the condenser area. I'm gonna use a bubble solution. I've got a light set up in there. And as you can see already, this, I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, there's a darkish, darkish stain in the middle of the condenser. So I'm just going to give that a spray with a bubble spray and see if we can get some, get some bubbles. And there we are. We can put the camera in there. Hopefully, you can see. Hopefully, you can see the area just starting to bubble up. Uh, the bubble spray that I use, the bubbles don't burst, so they'll just keep bubbling and bubbling. So you can spray it on, come back to it, and uh, you'll see your leak. But as you can see there, don't really have to wait. It's pretty obvious where his gas has been going. So that's going to require a new condenser. I have looked over the rest of the pipe work uh, because some of these courses do tend to suffer from split pipes down by the compressor but there's nothing there and it's been holding pressure pretty much hasn't really dropped because it's such a small leak if you've got a fractured pipe it would be uh, on its way out pretty rapidly the gas so condenser for this one so after a few minutes the uh, bubbles really do <clears throat> become apparent I'm not sure if I can get the camera to show you really clearly but uh, there's some like honeycombs that uh, just develop and so they don't really burst they just keep growing so this has been about five minutes after after I sprayed it and uh, pretty easy to see so I'm not sure if the camera's focusing because it's picking up the the grill at the front or not but hopefully you can see what's in there the bumper comes away Just show you fog light, air temperature sensor, other fog light. So it's just a question of undoing your your wiring, and away it comes. And there is our condenser. So one fitting. Holding both pipes onto the condenser, make sure the system's been degassed. Wiggle your pipes, you might have a little bit of residual pressure just from the any remaining gas that you couldn't get out earlier. And now
out she comes. There we go. So either end, got some sprung clips. And they just hold it on. Get some new washers on there and I'll put the new one on. Okay, new one's on, new condenser is in. <clears throat> I've got about eight bar pressure with nitrogen. Going to give the uh, give the fitting a, uh, a spray. Make sure there's nothing leaking out of there. All looking good. Okay, no leaks there. I'm just going to. Put it back together, just the reverse of how it came apart, and hopefully, I'll show you it running nice and cool. Leave this to set for a little while, just make sure there's no drop in pressure. I'll be back in a few minutes. So, the courser is all done. I'm in the car, and we've got a vent temperature four and a half degrees. So, pretty sure the customer's going to be happy with that. And, uh, even though it's the end of the, uh, the summer here in the UK, the uh, benefits in the winter obviously for the demisting because we get a lot of rain and cold weather. So uh, hopefully um, that's a good fix. And the easy way of, of finding the leaks I find is generally using the uh, pressure test with the nitrogen and the soapy water. Uh, it works well for me. Um, I'll stick with that. Obviously use a sniffer now and again as well. Um, condensers are so common here in the UK because of the uh, the corrosion we get but uh, yeah hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, I'll catch you again another time thanks for watching bye now